Hey Kings, you are once again welcome. In today's episode of Kings Tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this liquid text animation, in After Effects. But before we start, I would like to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it. And if you have not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button below the video. Good, now let's jump into After Effects. You can see that I'm already having my text on the program monitor. So what we are going to do after the text is to draw a rectangle below the text. But make sure that the rectangle is not bigger than the text. Search for turbulent displace on the effects panel, and then add it to the shape layer. Good. Now on the effect controls panel, change the amount to about 160, depending on the size of your rectangle. And then change displacement to twist. Good. Now, make sure the shape layer is selected, and then press P on the keyboard for position. Good. Add a keyframe to position at the beginning of the clip. But make sure that your shape is still below the text. Move forward to about 2 seconds on the timeline. And then adjust the position for the shape to be above the text. Good. Now if you are following correctly, your results should be something like this. Good. If you've got that results, then let's continue. Hold Alt on the keyboard, and then press on the evolution stopwatch. That will give you an option down here, to add an expression. So, just type in without space. Time star 200 good and this will now be the results great let's proceed now change the matte option for the text to alpha matte you can press f4 on the keyboard in case you are not seeing the track matte option okay let's continue again on the effects panel search for the fill effect and add it to the text layer good now we can change the color of the text good we're almost getting there. This should be your results now. Good. Let's proceed. Select both layers, and then duplicate them by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Now select the new text layer, and then change the color. Good. Also, select the new shape layer and then offset it. But the challenge here is that, if you don't offset it correctly, you may not get the best results. So what you have to do is to look for the point where the background starts revealing from the text, and then make sure the new shape layer starts from that point. Good. With that, this will be your results. We are not done yet, but our results looks great now. Let's proceed to the final part. But before we do that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button because every week I share tips and tutorials on Premiere Pro and After Effects, and I know you want to learn more, so make sure to hit the notification bell, and get notified anytime I post a new video. Okay, now select both the new text and shape, and then duplicate it. Good, offset the shape like we did for the other one. And then use the same procedure as we used for the other one, to make sure that you offset it correctly. Okay, now we can change the color of the text to know if we are doing the right job. Great. Open up the shape layer. Open Rectangle 1, Rectangle Path 1. Click on the Constrain Proportion icon to break the chain of the size, and then increase it wide for the white to cover the entire text. Good. Now if we are to play back, you will notice that the white takes off very roughly. And that's not what we want. So the final thing that we are going to do now, is to adjust the keyframes of the position. So press P on your keyboard for position. Move to the first keyframe, and adjust the position for all the white to disappear. And finally, Move to the last keyframe and adjust the position again for all the white to be revealed. And that's it. We are done with the liquid text animation. I hope you learned something new. And thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more and amazing tutorials. And also, you can leave your questions and comments down below. I always appreciate comments. Jesus loves you. See you next week.